Hello my friends and welcome back to another Sunday Reset video. I am so excited to have you joining me today. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on my outside living space. As you can see from these shots, not only is it messy, but we have had the most ridiculous pollen bombs over the last couple of weeks. The oak trees are spreading out their love and pollinating the earth and my house as well. <laughs> so we're going to spend today getting it cleaned up. As you can tell by my nasally voice, this pollen is making everybody miserable. And although I'm so happy to be living here in what feels like the forest, man, there sure are a lot of bugs, a lot of pollen. And hopefully now that all of the trees are bloomed this will just kind of calm down a little bit so we're gonna get started today by picking up this space it has just been collecting a ton of stuff we're going to get it cleaned up we're gonna get it streamlined we're gonna get it washed down and we're gonna get it summer ready I'm so excited to have you joining me today you're also gonna notice there in the front I have a big pile of dirt it's actually not just dirt, it's manure, uh, which does not smell very lovely. <laughs> uh, but my builder has been working on getting our front yard uh, graded and smoothed out and he's been bringing in fresh dirt, which means that we are actually going to be able to start seeding for grass here very soon. So I am so very excited for that. Uh, I'm getting started now on cleaning off my rocking chairs. I'm using the Method Wood Polish. This stuff smells fantastic. It's got like a really nice almond scent to it. So if you like that, uh, but I'm just kind of wiping them down. Like I said, they were covered in pollen. It was out of control, but I didn't want to use anything super harsh that was going to be rough on the wood. These already get pretty beat up out here on the porch, but we love them. We bought these on Facebook Marketplace. I was just showing you how much pollen there is on here. It's so bad, uh, but I bought these on Facebook Marketplace. I think I paid $10 for one and $20 for the other and they are all wood uh, rocking chairs they are different um, one is a little bit shorter um, and the other is a little bit taller but wider so they're like perfect for Danny and I we call them our up chairs they're where we're gonna live and spend the rest of our lives and live out here on our front porch and watch our kids grow and then eventually our grandkids grow because this is our forever home we are never moving again. If you are new to my channel, my husband Danny and I just recently moved to the East Coast. Well, I guess it's not really that recently. We've been here now for almost two years and uh, we spent a year and a half building our dream house. We built our forever farmhouse as we call it. And this is where we're going to spend the rest of our life. So we are West Coasters learning to live on the East Coast. It's been a fun, um, adventure if you will and we got super blessed you guys with moving into a beautiful neighborhood with fantastic neighbors everybody has been wonderful we've made what feels like lifelong friends and our children have wonderful wonderful families to grow up with my daughter babysits all over the neighborhood it's just been a really wonderful transition so we're so very happy with our choice to move here and the weather is so fun. I know people are like, what, you left Vegas to move to the snow? I get asked that question all the time, but yes, I love the snow. I also love that every day is different. The seasons are different. I appreciate every season more. Summer was always my least favorite season just because it's, it was so hot. It was unbearably hot. And unless you were outside floating in a pool, you didn't want to do anything else. So. I definitely prefer this much better. Um, look at the floor, you guys. Look at where my rug was and then underneath. Oh my gosh, that is all pollen. You would think some of that is dirt. It is not. I would come out here and, um, and sweep all the time with the broom, but this is not dirt, you guys. This is pollen. It's insane. So now I'm grabbing the power washer. And I'm just hosing down the vinyl siding. I'm a little bit irritated at first. My face is like, what is happening? Because it wasn't working properly. It wasn't holding enough pressure. But 
uh, it took a little while and then it started working properly. I did stop making the face. I was getting irritated. <laughs> I should have taken a break, but it did start working properly. But I'm just taking the opportunity now that everything is here off of the porch to hose down our vinyl siding. Uh, our vinyl siding is by CertainTeed. It is in the color Colonial White. And we did opt for vertical siding on the front of our house. So it does give it that board and batten look, but this is still vinyl siding, which is fantastic because as you just saw, I just hosed it down, was able to get rid of cobwebs and dirt and anything that was kind of stuck on there. And now we're getting to power wash the porch. Look at all that. Oh my gosh, it looks fantastic. There was so much dirt under there. It was insane and so much pollen um, and so much spider webs. That's what I just keep wiping off, wiping off here and hosing off is the spider webs. There's so many spider webs. If you guys have any tips and tricks, I know spiders are great. I know that they serve a purpose. I'm happy that they're here. I know they collect other bugs like mosquitoes and things like that. But if there, if you have some tips and tricks for keeping them away from like your living space, it doesn't matter if you get rid of a spider web, it's literally back the very next day. So I feel like I'm constantly cleaning them off of our rocking chairs, off of the sectional in the, um, in the back on our deck. So if you have any tips and tricks on how to get them to, you know, maybe make a web somewhere else, <laughs> that would be really great. They have a giant forest all around us that they can make all their spider webs. Why they choose to do it on the rocking chairs, I will not understand. So I welcome any tips and tricks on how to get the spiders to go somewhere else. Um, but we're just gonna spend some time hosing down the deck. If you guys have not invested in a power washer yet, I would highly recommend putting this on one of those must-have lists for your home. Power washers are so incredibly um, useful. Like there's so many different uses for them. So obviously this is the second time since we've lived here, we moved into December, that I have power washed my, my porch. Um, this is great for power washing the house as you saw. It's great for power washing walkways, driveways. We used it to power wash our house back in Las Vegas when we were getting it prepared to sell as well as our driveway, made our driveway look brand new. And they're just really, really good for getting things clean. You can clean your car with it. Um, you know, anything, anything like it, it's, they're just great. I, I've seen people power wash their shoes. Um, with with uh, the power washer which you know I don't I could totally see why that would work but it just makes the job really really easy and this is not sponsored by any power washer we've had our power washer for years um, but I would just highly recommend one it, it's such a great tool you can add soap to it as well so if you're like washing your car and you want to add in some uh, soap you can do that. I didn't use soap here because I didn't want soap all in my front yard that I just wanted water, but uh, you definitely could add, you know, soap in there if you are washing something that that was appropriate for. Um, but they just do such a great job. They're very satisfying. Watching this back while I'm editing has been really satisfying. I hope you're finding it satisfying. I tried to get as many close-up views as I could without splashing my camera. Um, I didn't do a very good job though because there is a little bit of a splash on there and pretty soon here you're going to notice it on the lens. I apologize. I have since cleaned it since I saw it in editing, but just gives us a little sparkle as we go through. As I mentioned before, our builder is finally working on grading our yard. And like I said, we moved in in December and everything was covered in snow. Well, that's not true. It wasn't snowing yet. It did snow 
couple of days after we moved in we had a white Christmas our first Christmas in the house it was lovely um, but there was just no reason to worry about grading the yard at that time because the snow was everywhere the ground was frozen it just it wasn't working so we knew that we were gonna have to wait until the spring to work on the yard and that was okay uh, but we're really happy he's working on it now he is still building a ton of houses in our neighborhood uh, we have about 18 houses in our neighborhood and I think um, probably about 10 of them are finished now 10 10 to 12 I can't remember so he's still building he's got a lot on his plate um, so you know he works on the yards when he can we get it but I'm so excited that they're finally getting worked on that the yard is finally getting worked on and I just think it's going to change the whole look of our front of our house like the front of our house because right now like the house looks great but it just looks messy because there's so much dirt and once we have a yard and I can actually put like some mow lines in my yard I'm so excited for that if you are a carpet line fan you probably know exactly what I mean but having those lines from your lawnmower just makes your yard look so clean and fresh and Danny and I have been designing our little front garden that we're gonna have here uh, with our we're gonna have a nice like plant bed um, in the front and it's gonna look really nice we've been working on designing that Danny's been picking up the stone pavers for that I cannot wait to show you guys that will be a video I promise but in the meantime I hope that you are enjoying you know what we have going on out here so far I love to be outside gardening and those things I'm not a hiker I don't like to do that kind of stuff but I love to garden I love to listen to the nature we used um, just the other day we opened up our front door and there were two deer in our driveway we used to see all kinds of wildlife back in Vegas don't get me wrong we had lots of hummingbirds lizards obviously bugs coyotes that kind of thing but here it's deer and um, we did have a coyote in our backyard uh, but there's lots of birds and we did even have some bear paws in our backyard uh, bear tracks so definitely some bears in our woods we have to be very careful of so but it's still fun to have all of this wildlife um, I'm taking some time now as I'm finishing up the front porch to just hose off the windowsills and like I said just to get the side uh, the siding clean as much as I could it really wasn't too bad but I think if I stay up on this and I do it you know every couple of months or the change of the season it should keep the front of the house pretty good we'll probably have to do a really good power wash of the house uh, probably once or twice a year the side and the back need it really bad so I've got to add that to my to-do list here in the next couple of weeks but it, this definitely made a huge difference I went out there this morning to have my coffee and I'm so happy I spent the time getting this front porch clean it took hours but it was worth it Now that I'm done power washing, I am working on taking this broom and kind of sweeping the water off. This part is not necessary. You can just let it dry, but I was being impatient. I wanted to get it finished. We did have a birthday party to go to later this afternoon, and I wanted to just get this done. I didn't want to let it dry and wait to put everything back. I just wanted it over so that I could use it the next morning for my coffee, my morning coffee. So I'm using the broom to push off all the excess water and hoping that that would let it dry a little bit faster and it definitely did it still took uh, quite a few hours to fully dry but it did dry nicely and it is clean I'm so very happy Next up, I am rehanging my Welcome to Our Home sign. I purchased this at Hobby Lobby. I know they still have it. They've had it for a couple of years now. 
I've had my eye on it for a long time but didn't have a place for it and I purchased it not knowing if it was going to go on my porch or if it was going to go inside but I love where we have it I do hang it right here next to my front door and I'm just using some paper towel to dry off where I want to put it and just kind of get it nice and clean you'll notice in the background too that my van's doors are open my daughter was cleaning out my car for me so you might see her in the background but um, like I said I was just drying off um, the wall and I'm grabbing the sign now I did hang this with command hooks you can uh, drill into your um, your vinyl siding right on the other side there is wood so I definitely would have like a stud if I wanted to but that sounded funny a stud if I wanted to I do have a stud his name is Danny and I love him but if I wanted to hang this on my house with a stud, I could uh, drill into it, but I don't want to damage the um, siding, especially because I'm afraid like bugs will get in there or water. So I just hang stuff with um, command strips and I feel like it does a pretty good job. I didn't clean the siding before I put this up originally and I think that's why it fell down. Um, so I cleaned it off really good and I dried it off really good and hopefully it will stay a lot better now. So I just want to remind you what the porch looked like before. Look at all of that pollen, you guys. Oh, blows my mind every time. So much pollen. But now that I've taken the time to clean it off, hose it off, it's back to being gray and it looks nice and fresh and no more pollen. My sinuses are regretting this job, but I am so very happy that I took the time to do this and that the pollen is gone, the dirt is gone, and the porch looks nice and fresh and clean. And now I'm going to slowly put the front porch back together. Things were still drying, it was still a little bit damp, but I wanted to get things put back up. Like I said, we had a birthday party to go to, so I wanted to just get things put back together. And as you can see on my lens, I did get a little bit of schmutz on there, so I'm sorry, but uh, that's okay. I know you guys don't mind. Um, as for my uh, rug here outside of my door, I was trying to decide if I wanted to put another rug underneath there. I know that's like a really big thing, like to layer your rugs, but... I don't know sometimes I feel like it just gets a little bit cluttered um, but I am thinking I might want a rug under my rocking chairs I don't know we'll see it just seems like another place to hold dirt and dust and pollen but we'll see uh, that heather plant that I just uh, got rid of it had died I don't know what happened I had two of them they were doing great and then all of a sudden one of them just fell apart so I got rid of it and then I moved these other flowers into those woven baskets those are from Walmart all of those pots there that you see are from Walmart um, the two I think all three actually um, the ones by the front door and then the two types there on the steps they're all from the Better Homes and Gardens line um, and they're all very affordable. I think those woven ones were the most expensive at $25 each, which I think is, you know, kind of pricey for a pot, but they were worth it. They're really, really pretty. And they are plastic lined, so they're made for plants. Um, you can use like a regular basket and put a pot inside. You notice that I just put the pot inside of those baskets and that's because I like to be able to easily change them out um, instead of potting them inside of there, but you absolutely can. I don't think that there are drain holes though, so you'll need to um, drill some drain holes in. But I am keeping that other heather shrub because it's still pretty. 
Um, and now I'm bringing out some new, a new blanket and one of those pillows from the backyard. These were from my sectional in the back, but I decided to bring them up here in the front um, just because I wanted a little bit more of a neutral vibe versus the black and white that I had before. And then this puff that I have here, I want to say it's rattan or jute. Um, I can't remember. It might be jute actually. Um, that is from Amazon and I'll have it linked for you in the Amazon shop, but here is how we are doing so far. It's looking so much cleaner, so much more streamlined. It's not as cluttered or crowded and definitely free of pollen and dust. So it looks so much better. I'm so very happy with it. Next up, we're working on the other outdoor space that we currently have, and that is our deck. And I mentioned in a previous video that we did return the um, furniture we had initially purchased for out here. And we picked up this sectional from Better Homes and Gardens at Walmart. And I am so very happy we did. It's not the color scheme that I wanted. I definitely wanted a lighter wood. Um, but this is so much more functional and way more comfortable and by the time we had purchased the four rocking chairs and the love seat and the table from the previous set this ended up being um, the same price if not a little bit cheaper so this was definitely worth it again this is from Walmart um, uh, better homes and gardens I am not sponsored by Walmart by any means. I honestly just love their Better Homes and Gardens line. I, I, I purchase so much of their stuff um, and I love it. Uh, and this table I feel is perfect because it's not only, um, you know, great for eating at because of the height, but it's great when I want to go outside and edit or if I, my kids want to go out there and do homework, it is the perfect height and i love it i love it very very much the rug is from target this is the same rug that i showed in that first video and the rug outside of the door right there is both of those rugs are from hobby lobby the one underneath as well as the rubber rug on top and i'm just using the broom to dust uh, or to brush off any um like big leaves or rocks or things like that or wood chips um, but I am going to vacuum it and it was covered in pollen just you know like everything in the front and the reason we had all of the cushions inside is because we had three days of crazy thunderstorms and I knew it would take a while for them to dry so we just brought them inside we do want to figure out some kind of tarp situation to put over them when it starts to rain because although they are you know water proof not waterproof but like it's okay for them to get wet um it does take a while for them to dry especially those pillows those pillows are also from better homes and gardens at walmart and they are an outdoor pillow so it's okay for them to get wet um but it you know they get mildewy you want your stuff to last i totally get it um so we're just vacuuming this off and then we're going to go back to the front and we're going to get that space decorated for the summer. All right, moving to the front of the house, we are continuing on with our summer Americana decor out here on the porch. So I'm starting with that little sign there that I purchased at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. And next up, we're going to put up this really cute flag, which I have in my pocket. I forgot it was in my pocket <laughs> when I was filming, but I picked up this flag at the Dollar Tree. The flag from the Dollar Tree as well as the flag stand, it was in my trunk a little long, so it got a little bent because there's 
dance costumes back there, soccer stuff, um, you know, my camping chair that I use at soccer games, all that good stuff. So, um, but this flag is super cute. It says stars and stripes, um, and summer nights, I think something like that. But it, you, if you don't want to hang it outside or you don't want to hang it on this um, flag holder, you can hang it individually. I took the little pole out and um, put it on here on this little flag holder. And it's so cute. It did end up being a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. So I decided to put it in the Heather um, shrub and move it over to the other side of the porch to bring some of the color over there. And I love it right there. I think it looks really nice. And I was able to kind of bend it back a little bit so it was a little more straight. Um, but I just think that's a really great little flag for a dollar. The Dollar Tree really does have some great um, decor pieces for holidays. If you have a Dollar Tree by you, I'd highly recommend checking it out, as well as the Dollar General. I have not been there since for this season, but they have a lot of great stuff as well. So. This land of the free sign I have had forever before I met my husband and we've been married 16 years. So it's been a long time, but now we're moving on to my absolute favorite piece. And that is this bunting. I have been looking forward to putting bunting in my windows since I moved to New England. This is such a New England thing. Having this bunting in your windows or on your house at all on your fence, I love it. It just screams quintessential New England to me. This is not something you see on the West Coast and I love it so much. Now, it does have grommets on it so you can like put hooks on things. Um, these are also from the Dollar Tree, you guys. They are plastic, um, but they're not like the shiny plastic. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like plastic fabric if I could I don't know maybe it's polyester I don't know but they were a dollar 25 and they're perfect um, I did not want to put uh, hooks or anything on my windows um, again because I just didn't want to put holes or anything in it but what we did was we opened up the um, screens on the windows just a little bit and shimmied out the bunting and it worked out perfectly and then I didn't have to worry about the wind or the weather like blowing them away but I purchased one for every window in the front of my house so there are a total of uh, seven windows in the front including the little window right there um, where the laundry room is but I am obsessed with how this looks. I am so like beside myself with the fact that we have our own little white farmhouse with our own bunting. Like it just is everything I've ever wanted. I love it so much. If you guys love this look, let me know down below if, if this is something that reminds you of where you live or if it's something you've seen in a magazine that you love. I just, it screams quintessential New England, like I said. And when you bring out the red, white, and blue, that means it's summer. It's time to just relax and enjoy and be thankful for where you get to be and the life that you get to live. I just love it. So Danny is helping me to get the bunting in all of the windows, and then we're going to see the final reveal. And there it is my friends all of the bunting is in all of the outdoor summer decor is up and I am living for this it looks so very sweet I am absolutely in love with how this turned out you're gonna have to let me know down in the comment section what you think of this but I am in love and I know it's just going to look better and better as the front yard gets finished and we get grass and greenery and plants. Everything's just going to come to life. So I just want to thank you for joining me in today's video. If you enjoyed it, I would love for you to give it a big thumbs up. I'd love to have you subscribe and come back for more. I have new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon. 
Take care.